Hello, my name is Wayne Weinick from BPA and I'm sales manager. Hi, my name is Adrian Flieger. I'm the managing director of BPA and together with my colleague, we would like to show you how simple the installation of Semflex is. There are two ways of installing our Semflex. The first way, you have your Semflex that is then held with a so-called Omega bar. The Omega bar is just pushed over the surface and the, the Omega bar is then attached to the reinforcement with, your with, with a wire and it'll stand like that. Now, as I said, there is of course also a second way of applying the Semflex. The Semflex can also obviously also be pushed into the fresh concrete. So when the concrete has been poured, smoothened, the Semflex is then pushed into the concrete in a depth of three centimeters and the overlaps are just connected together with a clip. So Wayne, you, you mentioned uh, you can push the Semflex into the fresh concrete minimum three centimeter, but you could push it even deeper like uh, four, five centimeter, that's not the matter. That's minimum three centimeter. Minimum three centimeter depth. And uh, if you want to push it into the middle, so this is a 15 centimeter blade, so you could push it into seven and a half, you could push it up higher. You could also have the three centimeters at the top. That makes no difference. Tell, tell our customers, do we need to seal the overlapping additionally? No welding, no special bonding agent at all is necessary. It was just uh, uh, connected with the Omega bar to the reinforcement and through the active blade, the crystals will grow and be absolutely watertight. And another one point very important, if for some reason the Semflex has to be cut, even these cutted edges do not have to be recoated or protected in any way. The crystallization on the surface will protect these areas. Very good. Wayne, what's, how do you assemble the, the Semflex if you have a corner, for example? Can you bend the steel blade or how do you treat that? So that's one of our big advantages with our Semflex VB, for example. It is very, very easy to bend. So what you can do, you can bend it to a 90 degree angle, so it can be pushed into the concrete like that. And even if you have a second angle, you can bend it again to another 90 degree angle. Very, very easy to bend. Yeah. And what you can also do is, you can also have a curve in the concrete. So attaching it with the Omega bugle afterwards, attaching it to the reinforcement, you can keep the curve like that. Very, very simple and easy to do. Do we have special pieces, Wayne, uh, to connect the steel blade water stop onto or together with an um, expansion joint water stop, an internal expansion joint water stop, PVC water bar or um, elastomeric water stop? Are there any possibilities available? Yes, Adrian, we have a very interesting product here. This product is an attachment for connecting our Semflex to a PVC water stop. What you do is you have three bolts, you drill your three holes into your PVC. There is a foam inside there that expands and makes it absolutely watertight. By tightening it, it'll be absolutely watertight in this area. And then you can, of course, continue with your Semflex uh, connected up to this joint.